What every disability policy holder who has epileptic seizures needs to know about filing an initial application for benefits. You may have purchased your disability insurance policy on your own or through your employer, hoping that it would provide you with disability benefits if you became disabled and unable to work. If you can't work anymore or your doctor has told you that it's time to apply for disability benefits, there are a number of things you should do before you stop working and apply for disability benefits. First, you should get a copy of your disability insurance policy. Why? You want to know how your disability insurance policy defines disability, occupation, and self-reported conditions. You need to know what you have to prove and whether there are any limitations in your coverage before you stop working and apply for disability benefits. You should get a copy of your medical records and review those records. What does your doctor say about the objective basis for the diagnosis? What does the doctor say about the objective basis of your restrictions and limitations? And what does your doctor say about the causal relationship between those restrictions and limitations and your inability to do your own or any of the material and substantial duties of any occupation? You should get a copy of your personnel file and see whether or not there's documentation of the problems that you have performing your duties as a result of your epileptic and non-epileptic seizures. You should also get a copy of your job description. Now, you haven't insured your job, you've insured your occupation. You want to look closely at your policy to determine whether the occupation is defined as your occupation as performed in your local economy, for your employer, or in the national economy. If it's local, or if it's the national economy, you want to get out the Dictionary of Occupational Titles, look up your occupation, and find out what the occupational duties are. Why? You want to prepare a description of the occupational duties of your occupation so that you can explain to your doctor not only those duties, but how your symptoms impact your ability to do those duties. Why? Your insurance company is going to ask your doctor to complete some forms called attending physician statement forms. Those forms are going to ask your doctor a lot of questions, like what's the objective basis of the diagnosis? What's the objective basis for the restrictions and limitations? And what are the objective reasons why the patient can't do the material and substantial duties of their own or any occupation? Your doctor needs that information from you to be able to accurately answer those questions and to help you get the benefits you deserve. You may also want to prepare a diary that explains and gives examples of how your symptoms interfere with your ability to do things on a daily basis and at work, and more importantly, how the side effects of medication impact your ability to do your occupational duties. I know that the application process is confusing. It's designed so that you and your physician make mistakes that can result in a delay or even a denial of your benefits. I have successfully represented many disability applicants who have seizure disorders. I know how to prepare and file a winning shock and all disability package that leaves your disability carrier little reason to question your claim. Call me today at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation to learn more about your rights to benefits before you stop working and apply for benefits. And if your disability claim has been denied or terminated, don't delay, call me. You'll only have 180 days in which to file an appeal of your claim if you have an ERISA disability policy. Remember, disability insurance carriers are in the business of collecting premium. They're not in the business of paying benefits. They'll use any reason to deny your claim or terminate your benefits. Call me today at 727-894-3188. I can help you get the disability benefits you and your family deserve, regardless of where you live in the United States. I look forward to talking to you about your disability claim.